Warning! Today we're going to talk about lasers and etching PCBs. So remember to always wear protective glasses, gloves and only work in well ventilated areas. Gearbest reached out to us a while back to see if we were interested in trying out the Ortur 15 watt laser. So full disclosure, we received the laser for free. After a bit of testing and playing around with it for a few weeks, we found two areas where this little laser helps out a lot in our makerspace. With cutting acrylics and making PCBs. In this video, we're going to focus on how to make PCBs with a laser. The Ortur 15 watt laser engraver allows you to cut and engrave softer materials like paper, cardboard, and thin soft wood on a 160 by 150 millimeter surface. So we were a bit impressed when it turns out it has no problems cutting black acrylics. Here it cuts through 2.5 millimeters of black acrylic at around 80% power and with eight passes. Due to the wavelength of the laser, you can only cut dark acrylics. The final product was a case for the Raspberry Pi Zero. We are gonna make this PCB today. Unlike with the acrylics, we're not gonna cut through the copper of the PCB. This laser can't cut any metals at all. And besides, if the diode of the laser was strong enough, it will also cut deep into, if not just straight through the fiberglass as well. First, clean off a copper cladboard with some rubbing alcohol or acetone. Make sure there are no oils or grease left. Then, grab a can of spray paint and apply an even layer of paint. Let it dry and cure for a bit. Load the PCB files into your software. Focus the lens and adjust the placement of the PCB. Note that a well-focused laser allows for smaller gaps between the tracks. The laser will now burn off the paint from the PCB, exposing the copper. Here we run the laser at 50% power and 10 millimeters per second with just one pass. In less than a minute, the laser is done. Clean off the board with some soap and water to remove the burnt paint, but don't rub it too hard. Now we have the bare copper exposed on the PCB that we want to remove, so let's start the etching. We mix up the etchants and place the PCB in the bath. The etching time will depend on what kind of etchant you use as well as the strength. When the copper is gone, remove the PCB and rinse it thoroughly. And to remove the paint, just wipe off the board with acetone. Remember to always wear the appropriate protective gear when working with lasers and etchants. This is the final result of the PCB. We also made a PCB with even thinner traces. 
This requires you to focus the laser and not burn off too much paint. We had the laser running at only 40% power. And that gave us lines that were about 0.4 millimeters thick. And as you can see, the results are very clean. If you want to learn more about creating PCBs, click this link for how to mill them on a CNC, or this link for how to apply the solder mask.